back to my channel. So today's video, I wanted to talk about some luxury products that are definitely worth the money. I honestly haven't done one of these videos in so long, so I just thought it'd be kind of cool. I've got some new ones uh, that I want to talk about. So I think that you guys know me as kind of like a drugstore queen, cheap queen, always trying to find deals. Like I just, I love a good deal. Um, so it's kind of rare for me actually to splurge on makeup and really anything. Um, I really don't cash out a lot. I don't know what it is about me. I mean, I don't know if it's like me moving into a new place. I'm trying to be a little bit more of a penny, penny pincher, but I really didn't spend a lot even when I lived at my parents' house and I kind of had like a more expendable income. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of cheap that way. So you guys will know if I did spend a lot of money on something in this video, you know it's the real deal. By the way, no part of this video is sponsored. Just saying that right now. But I will talk about my first thing that I want to talk about was gifted to me. So I do want to have that disclaimer in there. I did not pay for it, but I'm including it in the video because it is an expensive item that I definitely think is worth the money and I would 100% in a million years spend it again and again and again on something like this. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something that I actually got recently. Um, I've had it for about two weeks now, life changing. I got a new mattress and I think that anybody who is watching right now who has spent the money on a luxury mattress is going to agree with me on this one because you spend, think about it, you spend like oh, almost half of your life laying in your bed and sleeping and whatever whatever some for maybe some for some of us it's more than half of our lives i feel like half of my life's been spent in my bed i got a new lull mattress the cool thing about lull is it's an online mattress store so you do not have to go in buy anything you don't have to go into a mattress firm <laughs> and you know have a conspiracy theory about it it's actually a mattress store it's straight up an awesome luxury mattress store and it's memory foam mattresses so it does have a 100 night trial and free returns if you decide that you don't like it but i just think that it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me jarvis and i are sleeping every night like babies like i do not wake up i cannot get out of bed in the morning i mean it's a bad it's not a bad thing because i don't really have anywhere to go <laughs> but um, the best thing about it, since it's memory foam, is that Jarvis gets up to go to work at 3 a.m. And I used to wake up every single time that he's he left for work. No longer. I do not even hear him or feel him getting up because of the bed. And then I, every time that he would leave in the, at night, I would be sitting there lying awake for an hour. And then I would finally go back to sleep. So anyway, my life's changed basically is what I'm saying. But I'll never forget, I was a sophomore in college uh, at the University of Iowa. And... My parents brought me to go get a mattress for my first apartment. We went with like a really cheapo mattress and it was like, you know, the best deal we could get or whatever. But I was laying on like the really nice mattresses, like the most expensive mattresses, luxury mattresses in the corner. And I said to myself, one day I will spend the money on a really good mattress because honestly you spend so much time on a mattress it makes such a difference they did give me a $50 off coupon for you guys to use so if you do want to check it out again it's not sponsored but I did receive it um, complimentary from lull I think that also if you live like in a city or an apartment it's really good to buy from lull because the first time we tried to get a mattress in here it was a nightmare because you know, we couldn't fit it in a car and we had to like move it and get it through the door and like get it, like imagine trying to get it upstairs if you live in an apartment complex. Like the Lull Matrix comes, it comes in like a really compact box and then you roll it out and it kind of opens up and it like expands on your bed. So if you do live in an apartment, it's a really easy way to get a mattress into your apartment and it's just, it makes your life that much easier. So if you are looking, if you're in the market for a mattress or if you're in the market, I know this is like, why am I talking about a mattress for so long? But um, it's really good. So anyway, definitely check it out. I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. Again, not sponsored. I just love, I just, I have to talk about my mattress, okay? So moving on, I'm going to go through my makeup stuff and then we'll do a few little um, like miscellaneous stuff. So first thing I want to talk about is this Marc Jacobs foundation right here. This is the, I think I've talked about this before, but um, this is the Remarkable Foundation. It is the most full coverage foundation that you can buy. If you are somebody that has discoloration in your skin, if you need to cover something, if you need to cover pimples, if you need to cover redness, if you're somebody that blushes and you can't like, you wanna hide the fact that you're blushing so much or like your face turns red, that used to be, that used to plague my life. My face would turn beet red anytime anyone talked to me in high school and middle school. If I had this, 
my life would have changed. I wish somebody had told me about it when I was in high school. I don't think it existed back then, but life changing. If you are somebody that struggles with that, with like facial redness or discoloration, or if you wanna cover anything, if you want something full coverage, this is a lightweight doesn't feel like cakey, doesn't really look cakey. I don't feel that it does. I feel like if you do have, sometimes it will sink into wrinkles a little bit. So I would use a little bit less and use a brush with this. This is something you use a brush with. Don't use like a beauty blender. Um, it just looks better with a brush. But every time I run out of this, I run to Sephora and go get it because I don't want to live without it. And I'd be scared to live without it just because like if I break out, which by the way, I broke out so bad. <laughs> I'm like devastated, but I broke out so bad from my um, like galaxy. I tried following refinery 29 makeup tutorial video because I was putting like glitter Just go watch that video and whatever I put on my face do not put that on your face because I right now I know you can't tell because I'm wearing this foundation, but I broke out so bad I might even insert a picture, but it might be too embarrassing. I broke out so bad that I was literally you can ask Jarvis I was crying this morning like sobbing tears because my skin is that bad I've never broken out as bad from that video so anyway definitely go check that out link will be below I'll just talk about my other Marc Jacobs products so again I'm not somebody that splurges a lot on makeup and plus there's not a lot of cruelty free luxury brands so um, but this is the Marc Jacobs this is the do you do drops so at first I really did not like this, this is a high liquid highlighter at first I didn't like this but I was just not using it right um, what I do is actually I squirt it onto the back of my hand and then I'll take my finger like this and I'll pat it on if you go in with like a beauty blender it will be kind of hard to blend out and you want it to be a little bit sheared out than what comes out of here you need the tiniest amount I'll probably never go through this whole thing I mean I might it's really good it gives you a really really pretty um, not chunky glow it's just kind of like a luxurious look drugstore products just don't do the same thing and same with these two things right here there's just not a drugstore dupe for them and for all of this stuff I'm going to show you there's not a drugstore dupe so that's kind of like the main thing about this is why would I spend X amount of dollars on this product it's, it's because there's nothing else like it you know available for cheaper do you know what I mean and I I'm most I like to shop dupes and there's just not stuff for this so so these next ones are by far one of my favorite products that I've ever found um, like in general and I use these all the time so these are the Glossier these are the cloud paints and I know there's a lot of haters of Glossier people that are like oh it doesn't do anything you know blah blah, blah. Um, well you know the thing about Glossier is that it's really it's supposed to be undetectable makeup and it's not really supposed to look like makeup it's not really supposed to be that noticeable it's supposed to be like a natural look you know a natural glow a natural flush a natural lip and it's like it's supposed to be like you look like that naturally that's what natural means. Okay. Beam especially is my favorite and every time, I've never had people ask me what blush I'm wearing until I wear this. It lasts all day long. You will have this forever. There's nothing, I, believe me, I have tried drugstore sticks, cream, you know, blush sticks, drugstore other things. I've tried the Tarte Cheek Stains. There is nothing like this. And I think that these especially are worth the money. You can hate all, you know, on other Glossier products, that's fine, but these are definitely worth it and I will, fight anybody on that I will fight you it's just a perfect product for somebody even if you don't wear a lot of makeup or you do it's perfect for both people if you're going to the gym if you just want to look like you woke up like that I just there's nothing better. there's just nothing better so the next thing that I have is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist I don't think I've talked about this on my channel yet but uh, you can see I'm like almost out it's like down here <laughs> this is a pretty pricey product um, at first I was like not on board with it um, I tried it once before somebody like had me try it and they like freaked me out because they were telling me that it would like Take your eyelashes off if you got it on your eyelashes, which is true You kind of have to like avoid your eyelashes area, but I think this is there's nothing like this on The market like there, besides this there's nothing like that gives you the same look there is nothing that Like a drugstore product can do it's like I don't know how it does it. I don't know what's in here that makes you look like so dewy you need literally like two sprays of this i one time i've gone way too overboard and you do look like an oil slick but if you are somebody who has dry skin oh my god go get this right now i am going to actually go get a new one next time i'm in sephora i don't think i saw it in sephora last time i was there but you know how sometimes people are like okay use a setting spray and it'll take that powdery look away 
this takes the powder look, look away. A lot of the time I don't find that, you know, setting sprays really do take the powder look away. I can spray my face a hundred times and it still kind of looks like cakey or powdery or dry. This makes your face look like a healthy sheen. Like, oh my God, I just, I think it's, I think the world of it. <laughs> I think it's amazing. It is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and I freaking love this stuff. It's like amazing. Next thing I wanna talk about are the Stila. These are the Magnificent Metals and these have been out forever. They're pretty much up there in like my top 10 products that I've ever had and I just, I think they're the best. Um, my favorite one is Kitten Karma and I'm actually wearing Kitten Karma on my eyes. I had to just go buy a new one. By the way, I'm planning to do a Sephora and Ulta haul pretty soon and like drugstore haul, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, so I just got a new Kitten Karma one and this is um, Diamond Dust, but there is nothing like this at the drugstore. There's nothing like this in any other brand. Stila has definitely created like an amazing formula. It's just, it's crazy how much color payoff you get. The looks that it can give you, you can do like a cut crease with these. I love glitter and I just think that they have, it's like one of the most amazing products. It's like, you don't need a glitter glue and it just, it like glides on your eyes with a ton of payoff and like super shiny. I don't know, it's like how did they do that? And you can you can tell that a lot of brands have been trying to make something similar to these and they just haven't. Definitely worth the money. Um, you really can't find this formula in any other product, not even in the imitation. So um, definitely worth it. A lot of people ask me sometimes because you guys know that I love the Shop Hush dupes palettes and I like to buy dupe palettes and a lot of people, it's kind of controversial to some people because they're like, oh, well, if you had your own product, you would not want somebody to rip you off like that. They're just blatant rip-offs of other products, you know, blah, blah, copying them, blah, blah, blah. I think the thing with those is that, um, you know, if you don't want somebody to copy you and rip your product off, then make something that is not dupable. So, like, something like this, this has not been duped yet, as far as I know. So, um, you have to, you know, if, if you want some, if you want to charge a really high price or something, then make sure that your product is not going to be, is not able to be duped by something that's $10. You know, people are on a budget and a lot of people are on a budget. Most people are on a budget and makeup is just not a necessity. So I'm not really willing to pay full price or something when I know I can get it for cheaper in something else. So um, that's kind of my response to that and like, you know, with this, these Stila ones are a perfect example of like something that's just not been duped yet. And like something like this, this has not been duped yet. Something like this, this has not been duped yet. So that's kind of my stance on that. I don't know. If that's controversial to you, that's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, next thing is this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. Oh my God, you need to get this. I've been wanting to do a Charlotte Tilbury Best and Worst video, but I need to get a few more products before I can do that. And her products are just so expensive <laughs> that it's like, you know, take me a while to gather everything. But I'll just talk about this for now. So this is, um, again, the Film Star Bronze and Glow. It looks like this on the inside. They did just come out with one for darker skin tones, so you should definitely look into that. I don't know what the formula's like, I'm sure it's the same, but this is my favorite highlighter probably of all time, one of them, and this is like my favorite contour shade of all time. So it's so blendable. People ask me what contour I'm wearing when I wear this. Like, they're like, oh my God, your contour looks so good. And I'm like, that's it's just weird. You know, it's like when you wear certain products, people compliment you more. And this is just one of those products where people are like, oh my God. Charlotte Tilbury does face products really well. I will give her that. And that's definitely where I spend a lot of my money when I buy Charlotte Tilbury and lip products. But my camera just died, so I can't remember what I was talking about. But um, I, the other thing I'll say about this, and then I'll move on, is that the pans on this are so so deep that I don't know if I'll ever like get to the bottom of them. I've had this for like over a year now and I use it all the time, like close to every time I do my makeup and I literally cannot, like I haven't even scratched the surface. Plus I've seen people post pictures of like their, uh, them like really used palettes and they are so, like the pans are so deep in here. Like I'm pretty sure that they're literally like that deep. So plus the packaging, you gotta love it. Um, and it's really good for travel. So if you're like, okay, I need a highlighter and a contour and you don't wanna bring your Kat Von D <laughs> contour palette, um, this is just the best. Perfect undertone. This highlight is just a gorgeous, like natural looking, but like wet looking highlighter. There's somebody outside my window. Oh my God, what are you doing? 
Anyway, really good. One more Charlotte Tilbury product, and this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Okay, so anyway, I got it in the shade 2 Medium, and it's still pretty light. I feel like they definitely need to add some more shades, but this is definitely, definitely, you can see, I actually made a pan on something that's amazing. The smoothest, most fine powder you will ever find, ever. It looks amazing. It can never look cakey on you no matter how many times you sit there and you pound it into your face. It's so, it just makes your skin look so smooth and like airbrushed. It looks truly airbrushed. Like if you use this to set your under eye even, it's like, oh my God, it looks so good. I just can't even believe it. It's, it's truly like, just a different, it's a different breed of powder. It's a different, it's in a league of its own. It's in a league of its own. So would recommend, 10 out of 10 would, would recommend. Two more things, then I will say goodbye. <laughs> so I actually just bought these cups um, recently and kind of hard to see. I have other ones too with like a handle that are a little bit more wide, but um, these I got recently, these were pricey, okay? These were about $40 for two, so 20 bucks each for the one. Okay, this is $20. Jarvis and I have been going ham using these cups. We love them. They're like the double walled glass. They're hand blown, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're, I got them at Sir La Tab. Tab. I'll link them below. Um, they're so amazing, especially if you drink coffee. They have ones with handles for coffee. Um, or actually, no, they're like latte. We bought the latte ones because they were bigger, but you can like put your drink in. So if you make specialty drinks, like I just bought an espresso machine. So you can see like, you know, if you make specialty ones, like if you put like chocolate syrup down here, if you do like vanilla syrup or caramel syrup, and then if you do your like espresso and then you do, you know what I mean? It's like, you can see what you're doing. Um, if you do coffee, you can see how much creamer you're putting in. You can see what's in there. It's so good. Plus it stays really hot and then it also like doesn't condensate or lose like heat and um, it's not that hot to hold either because of the double walled. So, oh my God, we use the crap out of these. Um, I never thought I would splurge on something like this, but I just happened to end up, like I had a few extra dollars from this weird thing. I don't even know, but I spent it on those cups and it's like, changed my life it's changed my life and i'm like i feel like the fanciest person in the whole world um but they're really practical too so you gotta love it last expensive thing and i will say again i did not purchase this myself but i did purchase one for somebody else so it's like i did purchase it because i gave it to somebody else as a gift um oh my god this is so worth it i can't even tell you i've talked about this before this mirror, um, ew, I don't wanna like get my face in there, but uh, yeah, I've talked about this mirror before. This is the one from Impressions Vanity. This is a really bright white light. The reason why I'm saying, okay, get this, um, instead of like something like that, because first of all, that I always say, you should always get. That's from Impressions Vanity too. I always have 10% off code down below. That's not for everybody, and spending that much money is not for everybody, I understand that, but this one is a little bit less pricey. This is at like, this is like in the $100 range, so the thing about this is that it's so big that if you are like, you know, in your room, or if you're trying to like, if you need a vanity mirror, if you need a really good mirror, um, I actually use both of these, so like I'll look in that one far away, but I have this one always up close, like right by me, so I can see really close up. I know that's kind of extra, but I would buy this a hundred, I would be lost without this. I didn't realize that I needed this till I had it, type of thing, so the light on here is so good. You'll see these, like sometimes you'll see Impressions Vanity things, like um, you'll see them at like TJ Maxx, and they're like little ones and they're okay, but like this is obviously, you know, a way top of the line one. Um, it is top of the line ones. Um, this is one of the newer models. Um, it's huge, like seriously, this is huge. And it is a Bluetooth speaker on it. So if you can take like phone calls on it. Um, you can do like loud, it gets really loud. So like your music, if you're playing music, you get ready. Or if you're watching Netflix, if you wanna like make it really loud, sometimes like my laptop's not even that loud. So um, I like to just use this. I like to jam out. It's like it's like your own personal speaker. It gets that loud. So it's, it's so freaking cool. You can control it from everywhere. It's like amazing. It comes with like a charger. You just charge it up really quick. I just think it's more, it's really worth it. So uh, that's enough. I'll just stop talking about like everything right now. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully there's something in here maybe that you didn't know is out there, especially like this foundation. I really think this is a life changing one. So let me know down below. I'd love to know what is something that you 
I absolutely do not regret spending a lot of money on or splurging on. What is worth the splurge? Let me know because I'm getting ready to splurge right now. I'm actually going to, I'm planning my New York trip um, for my birthday. And it's like my birthday and our two year anniversary um, between me and Jarvis, it's like combined. So we're going all out. So I'm like getting ready right now. I'm like trying to like, I'm trying to like rationalize like spending a lot of money. So like that's kind of what this video was. It's just like me rationalizing like all my purchases. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.